Feldman, and Monica, and Huell both have the night off. Right now, a 37-year-old man is dead despite valiant efforts to save his life. He was rescued from a local lake earlier, but Fox 2 has just learned he died this evening at U of M Hospital. That's where our Ron Savage is right now. Ron, such a tragic story. Murray, this is the Island Lake Recreation Area at I-96 in Kensington Road in Livingston County. And by all accounts, it was a beautiful day at the beach. The holiday weather was perfect. The lake spotted with boats, swimmers, and inflatable rafts. A DNR officer in this boat is searching for the victim, who witnesses say was underwater for at least five minutes. Right here, the man has just been located and laid inside the boat. Rescue workers and other swimmers help hustle him to shore. The DNR agent performed CPR. Green Oak Fire and Michigan State Police responded. Livingston County Ambulance with a priority ground transport to U of M Hospital Ann Arbor. A U of M doctor pronounces the victim dead. Witnesses at the scene say alcohol was evident. The DNR official that was giving him CPR says, oh, I smell alcohol. And I wasn't standing no more than four feet away from him, so I knew that, you know, I knew that it was alcohol related and that made that made the event even more sad we know the man is 37 we don't have his name we don't know where he's from they will rule on cause of death later this week in ann arbor ron savage reporting fanchon back to you so sad all right ron thank you so much right now we are following a developing story now back to our other big story tonight a 37 year old man died while swimming with his friends Efforts to revive him simply failed. Local force Michael Ann Wolf is live at U of M Medical Center in Ann Arbor with more on this deadly accident. Michael Ann? Ruth, despite heroic rescue efforts by so many today, the man was pronounced dead here at U of M Hospital. It was supposed to be a day of fun and sun with friends in Green Oak Township that instead turned deadly. It's caught on home video as friends and DNR Rangers pulled 37-year-old David Allen Wright from Island Lake. They found him. They found him. Here you're watching the DNR Ranger who immediately starts CPR and will oh, keep it up until paramedics arrive. The heartbreaking drama unfolds in front of dozens of beachgoers, families, young children. At first I thought the lifeboat, the lifeboat was out to uh, tell the people to come back because they were past the buoys. Mm -hmm. Then they, we seen someone get lifted from underwater onto the boat. The guy on the boat started giving him CPR. Wright was at the lake with a group of about eight friends enjoying a day in the sun and the water when someone noticed he'd gone under. Rangers, friends, and others began a frantic search to find him. Despite their efforts, Wright was submerged for more than five minutes. Green Oak Township Police confirmed he had been drinking. It's just a reality check. It's a quick reality check for everybody out here. David Wright drowned in just four feet of water. His family has now been notified. Reporting live in Ann Arbor, Michael Ann Wolf, Local First. Hi, Michael Ann. New at 11 tonight, two motorcyclists are in the hospital after a high-speed chase down a local freeway. State troopers say a motorcyclist took off south on I-275 when he spotted a squad car. After a brief chase, the man hit another motorcyclist on I-96. Both men were rushed to the hospital. Eastbound 96 between 275 and Newburgh Road remains closed while police continue their investigation.